Greetings guys, this is uh, Magnanimous Minds Lectures Online. Today we are doing uh, Engineering Science Entry Hydraulics, whereby we will be treating a question, with, uh, four questions. The first question is, state the Pascal principle in words 6.2, a force of 100 Newton causes a pressure of 350 kilopascals in a pipe filled with water. Calculate the diameter of the pipe in millimeters. 6.3 says a pump delivers 70 liters of oil per hour to a reservoir at a pressure of uh, 200 kilopascals. Calculate the power required by an electric motor to drive the pump. Then 6.4 says the rim of a hydraulic press has a diameter of 100 millimeters the plunger has a stroke length of 5 centimeters and a diameter of 25 millimeters calculate the number of strokes of the plunger to lift the rim over a distance of 25 centimeters so let's uh, start answering the questions uh, the first one which is pascal's law pascal's law states that uh, if pressure is applied on an enclosed system the pressure will spread evenly through the enclosed fluidity and is the same throughout so That's Pascal's law. Then number two, we are given a force of 400 newtons and a pressure of 350 kilo pascals. And we are told to calculate uh, the diameter. So to do this, uh, we go to our formula sheet and we will realize that there's a formula which says uh, pressure equals to force over area and we know that since it's a pipe the area the cross sectional area is going to be pi d squared over 4 and then from these two we make d subject of the formula so it's going to be d squared equals to force over pi over 4 times p and uh, d equals to square root of that can even simplify this it's going to bring uh, if you do this 4 it's going to come on top and pi the bottom it's still the same thing then we substitute what we have, we've got force, it's 400, we've got pi over 4 times pressure, and uh, the pressure is uh, 350 kilos, so it's 10 to the power 3, and we close that, punch this into the calculator, let's see what we get, square root of 1, square root of 400 over pi over 4 
times 350 times 10 to the power negative 3. And oh, positive 3, not negative, sorry. Positive 3. Get this, which is 0 0.038. 1461786 meters and we are told to calculate in millimeters so we multiply by 1000 millimeters over 1 meter meter and meter it's going to cancel out so multiply by 1000 it's going to give us uh, 38.1 four six millimeters and uh, that's it for number two and then number three we are given the volume equals to 70 liters and the time we're given one hour which is 3600 seconds and we're given pressure is 200 kilopascals and we are told to calculate the power required by an electric motor to drive uh, the pump and we know that uh, with these questions the work done equals to well firstly this pressure it's not power don't confuse the two this pressure firstly power equals to work over time if you check in the formula sheet and we know that with these questions work equals to pressure times volume and that will be over time so we were given our volume in liters so we we'll have to convert this volume to uh, meters cubic meters so to do that to do this uh, one liter equals to 0 0.001 cubic meters so we've got uh, 70 liters and we we have x cubic meters so we cross multiply since this uh you can take this as ratios cross multiply so x will be 70 times 0 0.001 cubic meters and it's going to be 70 times 0 0.001 0 0.07 cubic meters okay therefore the power p will be 2200 times 10 to the power 3 since it's kilopascals times the volume which is 0 0.07 over the time in seconds which is 3600 seconds because in one hour we've got 60 minutes and in one minute we've got 60 seconds so that's it and we punch that into the calculator it's going to be 200 times 10 to the power 3 times 0 0.07 over 3600 this gives us 3.8 eight nine watts so p equals to three point eight eight nine watts and then if uh, the electric pump like the power transfer between the electric pump and the oil pump operates at 800 percent efficiency so this is the power that the electric motor will need to drive the pump so that's it for the third question and then the fourth question uh, we are given the 
rem diameter which is pt and the plunger stroke length is ls equals to 5 centimeters which is uh, this is uh, convert this into meters so that we work with the same unit actually the SI unit 100 times 10 to the power negative 3 0 0.1 meters then 5 centimeters 5 times 10 to the power negative 2 0 0.05 meters and then the plunger diameter is 25 millimeters Again, it's uh, 25 times 10 to the power negative 3, which is 0 0.025 meters. And then we are told to calculate the number of strokes, the derived number of strokes of uh, the number of strokes of the plunger to lift the rim uh, over a distance of 20. 5 centimeters so each is 25 centimeters convert to meters 25 times 10 to the power negative 2 0 0.25 meters and then if we go to the formula sheet you'll realize that there's a formula which says V rem equals to V plunger times number of strokes and we need number of strokes so we need number of strokes subject of the formula so it's going to be V rem over V plunger and this is a pi d squared over 4 times h since there is the cross sectional area times the height and it gives us the volume same thing a pi a small d squared over 4 and ls this and this and this and this will cancel out so we'll be left with d squared h over d squared ls and we substitute what we have so it's going to be 0 0.1 squared times 0 0.25 over 0 0.025 squared times 0 0.05 and we should punch that into the calculator 0 0.1 squared times 5 over 0 0.025 squared times 0 0.05 it gives us 80 strokes so n equals to 80 strokes and that's it for uh, hydraulics thank you for watching magnanimous minds lectures online please do subscribe to our channel and also like our videos and as well follow us on all our social media handles on facebook we are magnanimous minds instagram magnanimous underscore minds twitter at magnanimous mean one mean of uh, m-i-n one. Thank you.